It's something most of us really don't like to talk about, making sure we have a will. For members of law enforcement who put their lives on the line every day, that legal document really is a necessity. Elms College has a program called Wills for Local Heroes. Paralegal students draft wills under the guidance of their professor, attorney Carolyn Murray. Now, Carolee McGrath spoke with attorney Murray and Kayla Pelletier to learn more. The Wills for Local Heroes program um, has been uh, an event that we've held for the past 10 years. Um, back on 9-11, um, as everyone knows, the tragedies there were just untold. And we had so many first responders that were um, working diligently trying to rescue people, and not one of them that we know of actually had their wills. So the majority of first responders did not have wills. So the Wills for Heroes program was born at that time. And then we thought back in 2007 that we would start something local for our own community to help our own first responders. And when I say first responders, I'm primarily talking about firefighters, law enforcement, um, anyone that would be on a scene right away. And we've been doing it for the past 10 years. And just recently in December, you added state troopers to the program as well? We did. We decided to um, reach out to the Springfield State Troopers, see if they would like to participate in the program. I had a few contacts over there, and they were happy to, to help us. Okay. And so, Kayla, what did you get out of um, assisting in this program? Like, what did you learn from it? I learned a lot of people don't have wills, including my own family members who are in the law enforcement, um, a firefighter, my stepfather. In addition, it, there's just, it felt good. It felt really good to see the joy of the, I worked with three state troopers and they were all so wonderful to work with and they were just happy to have wills at the end to of it. finally have it done. Now you're graduating in May. Yes. You needed practical experience as well. Did this help as part of the program? Yeah, I um, draft wills all the time at work, so it was a pretty easy also final for me. Like, I have to say. Yes. Okay. But you're going for your bachelor's yes. at Elms College. So, but that must have been helpful for for kids, you know, who didn't have her experience as well? Oh, most definitely. I mean, really that was the purpose behind the, our wills for local heroes. It was not only to provide wills for those first responders that needed them, but also from my students. Um, I'm sure Kayla can attest to the fact that it gets very boring just reading from a textbook mm -hmm. right. and being, you know, tested and quizzed. Um, and it's not, it's not real. It's not the reality of it all. Um, this is a hands-on experience. The students learn from the very beginning. They have a textbook, obviously. Um, they read everything they need to know about how a will is put together. And then they actually reach out to a first responder and they work with them just like they would a client. Um, having said that, there's always either myself or we have someone else that's always looking over the wills. To make sure everything, yeah. <laughs> the T's are crossed, the I's are yes. dotted. Yeah. And, and I think that's the first, when we reach out to whether it's a fire department or a local uh, police department, it's kind of a little, um, they're a little leery when they say, students are going to be drawn. Right, are, these, right. are they real? Right. They are definitely real because that's what I do. Um, that's what my practice is. And I've been doing this since 2004. Um, and so, yeah, students, are, they, they learn the basics. They learn something even more so important than reading from the text is how to socialize and how to cold call and how to... Oh, that's um, <laughs> I think that's the most frightening for most students. Yeah, we see. spend an hour and 15 minutes, one class, just writing down a paragraph, introducing, hello, my name is. Right. Um, mm -hmm. And it's because I, we, we've got students from, from all different backgrounds. Um, some have never picked up a phone and actually called anyone before that they didn't know. Um, I think so, so many people are accustomed texting. to texting yeah. or emailing. Um, so they are frightened at first, but they get over it. And then once they have the rapport with the first responder, it's, it's all good. And what are some of the stories that you heard from the first responders? Because I'm sure, you know, especially the younger guys and gals are thinking, I'm young. I don't, I don't need this. Is that kind of the sense that you got? Yeah, at first, definitely, until we really got talking with them and you got into certain clauses of the will that had your children and they asked questions as to why certain things were put in, you know, like a guardian and a trustee for the child for their funds, you know, if anything happened to the mother or the father. Right, and I think the, the biggest concern for parents would be not so much the funds, but who's taking those kids. Mm -hmm. God forbid both of you, um, you know, passed away. So even outside of being in law enforcement, this is a really important issue 
for parents as well? Oh, my, definitely, most definitely. But let's face it, it's not a topic that people just sit around and talk about. No. It's not something that comes up on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. It's usually some tragedy that's befallen a family, and then they reach out. Um, but we're trying to educate people that you really should have the basic estate planning documents together. It doesn't matter how old you are. Um, a lot of students will say, well, I don't have an estate. I'll say, you don't have an estate? What's that backpack? Is that yours? Yes. Do you have a car? Yes. Then you have an estate. Okay. And I think people, people definitely don't realize that, but you also had a, a personal story that makes this very important to you. Yes, I do. Um, my husband passed away 15 years ago at 35 years old. And at the time, I should have known myself to have a will. But we were so young, didn't even think about it. Um, so tragedy befalls everyone. Um, and that just kind of made it so that I wanted to make sure that people are covered. So it's not, and it doesn't matter whether they come to me, they go to someone else in town. The estate planning attorneys in the area are wonderful. Elder law attorneys in the area are wonderful. Just have it done. Have your basic estate planning documents done, and then you'll have peace of mind. It's not, it's not this foreboding act, oh, I'm going right. to do this and something's going to happen. And I do get that a lot with the elderly. If I do this, something bad's going to happen. No, that's not the case. And it's such a great gift to our men and women in law enforcement and our first responders who do so much for us. Did you feel that way, like when you were working yeah. with them? It felt really, really good. It almost makes me want to go out and like buy wills for people because it is so important. Yeah. Excellent. Caroline and Kayla, thank you so much thank for, you. for joining you. us.